Hello everybody, this is Pahamar in Direwolf 20, episode 16 of Agrarian Skies. In Direwolf, we have a situation downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah, you told me not to come down there. Well, well are you ready? But I'm, ready? I'm looking at you through clear glass. Um, my YouTube audience is probably seeing something pretty ridiculous, and I think you should come and see. Okay. Come on downstairs. Stairs. Oh my! You may have you gone may pig have... crazy. I think you went pig crazy. I how, think should... how, how, how much flooring did you put on the floor? They're falling right through this one by, like, it's one deep floor. Alright, I think they're spawning underneath the MFR auto spawner. Yeah, so we have a pig situation. We have a pig situation is an understatement at this point. I think we should turn off the spawner. Can we the, turn spawner off the spawner is off. Spawners? If that light is on, yeah, the spawner is off. off. Okay, good. Well, that's kind of good. Yeah, I need to invert yeah, it, right, but okay. we have a pick situation. You have fun fixing that. You, what? Yep. I'm working on pink slime up here, man. I can't be distracted. I am uh, working with pig epidemic. Yeah, but pink slime. I'm gonna have PETA on me. Yeah, you are. You're gonna be in trouble real fast. Hi, Chun, I'm so sorry. How are there so many? Can you bring me a grilled cheese? I'm hungry. Um, yeah. Can oh, we I make it a grilled it. cheese oh, and yeah. bacon sandwich, though? Because that would be awesome. You can make that? Yeah, if you, well, I don't know. I don't know about in game. I'm talking about real life. Oh, well. Have you ever tried that? I would if I wasn't busy slaughtering pigs. Just saying, grilled cheese and bacon is kind of awesome. I know. I'm a big well, fan like of the BLT. Uh, no, I should say a bacon tomato. tomato. We're kind of close to the um, pig, pink slime stuff. Well, I don't know. We got enough pink slime I'm making down here. Unfortunately, you are not. <laughs> See, you've got that sword that has fire damage on it, so it's only my sword's about to break. That's unfortunate. You should repair it. Oh, it's really a wooden sword. Oh, really? So I'm gonna fill your floor in a little bit. Um, I stuff. have no, I problem, have with no that. problem with that. I'm not sure how deep it has to be, but I'll at least add one layer to it. And hopefully that's enough. I think I've just always used this thing, typically, more often than not at least, in like a floor that has a floor under it. If that makes sense, which probably doesn't. No, that makes sense. Now, direwolf's on fire. Oh no, what a terrible thing. Alright, let's finish killing all these pigs, and then we'll come back and get to what we want to get to on this episode. Hopefully pink slime. <laughs> Anything but pigs. Alright, Mr. Pahamar, we have got pink slime. We do. Yeah, I see that you replaced the slaughterhouse that we have with a grinder again. Correct. All right, so my plan is to get a really good pink slime and store it in a safari net so that we can respawn them as needed if we need more pink slimes for the future. And you have a uh, safari net ready to go? I do. Okay, well, okay. let's do this. All right, so to spawn a pink slime, I got the liquid pink slime. I get a bucket's worth, and I put it in here, and then when it dries, it turns into a pink slime. Don't kill it. Don't okay. do anything with it. Okay. Why do you have a needle? It's the slime and beginning syringe. Oh. And it just exploded. Alright, you can kill those ones. I might have embiggened it too much. I wasn't sure if there was a limit. Why is this the episode of me killing your pink things? I don't know. It's what you do. I wanted a full-sized one. But you didn't get it in time? Uh, I can get... I can get it. Hang on. I think I embinged it too much. 
There we go. Full so can you one. do that with the other right. slimes too? Yeah. Let's do that because we don't have a full size slime. What size do we have? We have a medium. Okay, I'm so ready to go. So I'll drop it, oh. you embiggen it, and I'll t capture it. Yep. There you go. There you go. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I actually made like an automated thing for mob grinders once that basically, because the recipe for that is slime balls to embiggen them. So I made like okay. this whole conveyor system that would spawn slimes and then embiggen them. And then each little baby slime that dies counts for mob essence. So it produced like way more mob essence than it took to run. It actually was a really good system, but we don't really need it because we have the dropper. Maybe someday. All right, Endermen should be spawned. Okay, uh, it has a 10 second delay before they start, but yeah. There we go. There you go. There go. Cool. All right, so we've got pink slime now. Can I have one of those or some of those pink slimes that you picked up? They are in the AI system now. Okay, cool. Well, then I think I can make my laser thingy. This milk thing is so slow. Uh, it so stinks that we have this derpy version of... Let's see. NEI synchronized standard is what I like. Um, and then we need this. Cool. So I just need a couple redstone conductance coils. One, two, and I need another set of glowstone and the glass. So let me get an. Thought did I not make an extra one of those? Yeah, this is gonna kill me. This whole NEI not working thing. Oh, the fluid's not working? No, the look up a recipe with the AE window thing. Oh, I yeah. I pretty oh, heavily yeah. on that. How do we get more resident ender in our fluid transposer again? I don't know. I haven't done anything with ender in the past two episodes. Oh, that's lame Pahamar. Lame Pahamar. Dude, you can't just always blame me. Uh, you'd be surprised what I can do. Well, that's just not very nice of you. We've got two buckets worth of liquid and a pearl now. That's cool. All right. Man, that's pretty cool Man, that's... to watch them just look at all those Endermen. Right? It's fun. Wow, we are getting so many more Ender Pearls now that we're doing this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, so I crafted what I need to craft. Um, let's see what that means. Oh, by the way, we're at seventeen percent for milk. That is going really slow. Yeah, I might have to find a better way to a faster way to do that. So I should be able to for the hoarding and automated mining. We're ready to claim a reward. I'm gonna pick the left bag. Oh my, I got a lot of laser focuses and a lot of laser focuses. I took the right one? Oh, cool. I also have a lot of laser focuses. I got an epic bag. What did you get? I got a epic bag. I have... Oh, you're going to like this. Oh? I'll bring it up to you. Go on. Do you see those? Oh, aura nodes. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I got oh, I got the modest. I got all the hives again. Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, but I already got those. I would have preferred aura nodes. That's what you got me for, buddy. I guess you're the one who gets all the awesome rewards all the time. Except for the times I got stairs. Yeah, except for that one time when I got a better reward than you. But nine out of ten times, <laughs> it's you getting better than me. Um, so yeah, I've got the uh, laser drill placed over a hole to bedrock or the void. And the laser drill pre-charger placed one block away from a laser target. Uh, now you know so how yeah. high you have to make that, right? No. That has to be above Y level 192. Why? Because I, I thought that's what I read in the book. 
Really? Uh, da -da -da. Oh, it says it'll work better if it is at Y level 128 plus. Yes. So, oh, you know what we oh, haven't done yet? We should do at some point. We should go yeah. to the nether. So one precharger can use 5,000 RF per tick. Okay, so we're going to need more power. Yeah. We're definitely going to need more power. Um... Uh, what I'm actually interested in, there's because most of the ores we don't really need to worry about, but there is one thing I would like to start getting, or we do actually need to start getting, which is uh, cobalt and ardite. So we should work on that. Um, how about we come back in a minute here once we're ready to take a look at that? Sounds good. All right, guys, we're back. So I've got this nifty laser drill and prefab or laser precharger thingy. And here's the deal. They require a lot of power. Do you know how much power this thing requires, Mr. Pahamar? I've heard you say an awful lot. An awful lot as in 5,000 RF per tick for the precharger. And you can have four prechargers per drill going on at once. We don't so, have that much power. Like 20,000 RF per tick for this thing full speed. Does that sound a little crazy or what? A little crazy, yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, so I, I, I would that. actually like to get these running because we currently don't have any cobalt or ardite and we need those for some of our quests. And uh, long story short, I think this is going to be your most effective way to get them, short of going into the nether and start killing things and i heard the nether is really nasty on this map it is very like really nasty. nasty all right so with your permission i'm going to set up a liquid redstone generator setup you think we got enough redstone for that i do it uses one redstone every four minutes i think we're producing more than that aren't we i think so Right? Like, we're probably producing even more than 8 redstone per minute. So if I had 8 generators, we'd still have a net gain. We have 4,214 redstone at the moment. So I'm going to start with 8 heated redstone generators. Which I just taught the A system how to craft, by the way. Nice. Um, and then if we want more than that, so be it. Did you turn it um, on? Oh no, I know what I did. I know what I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Well, I think I know what happened to all that dirt. Yeah? I think the Enderman took it. You think so? A bunch of them were walking around with dirt in their hand. Could be. So, I'm just going to replace all the floor in there with uh, half slabs. Right. Okay, that's cool. I need 40 redstone? Does that sound right? How's a man going to make a shovel? I don't know. How is he? He's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. So I'm actually going to set this up right near your existing setup. Okay. I'm going to start with a very basic build here. And then expand onto it as needed. How you doing over there, Dyer? 
I'm doing all right. I'm just crafting. I'm just having the Enderman die all around me. Awesome. I hereby blame you for all Endermanics uh, getting the others. Well, Enderman sh shenanigans are kind of my thing, so I I don't terribly blame you. Well, you know the last episode where you blamed me for the Enderman getting out of the mob spawner? Nope. You don't remember that? When they were teleporting all over the base and we were chasing them? Chasing that thing we recorded eight minutes ago? No, I don't remember it at all. Oh, no, that was two episodes ago. That's right. Was it two episodes ago that I, that I claimed that? So yeah. it was more than eight minutes ago that we recorded that. All right. Still no. <laughs> you put a, a bunch of sludge down the mob chute? Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Did you know that that's what made him teleport all over the place? Did you know that? No, it didn't. You are so delusional. I claim that you are at fault for all Enderman shenanigans. All the time. But you just took... <sighs> See, people? See what I have to deal with? Yeah, I'm going to it rough. There. Finish the floor with half slabs, so hopefully they shouldn't steal those. Cool. I wonder if I made this a little tight, but I guess we'll see. Um, hmm. That should stop them properly. There we go. Fixed it. Let's see, while uh, you were off figuring out generators and stuff, I moved all the cows up here too and set up a, a sewer there so they can collect sewage, because that's one of my liquid quests. Nice. I'm thinking I might like this build that I have going on here. I should build a fertilizer. We're getting not a lot of wheat. I would like to build more farms, by the way, because I would like to get into biofuel from MFR. It's very powerful, but we need many different kinds of plant material. Biofuel is actually one of my quests. Oh, well, then cool. Um, do you know how the biofuel or the bioreactor works? Not the bioreactor. It's how you make biofuel. Which biofuel do you need, by the way? Do you need MFR biofuel, or does it matter? Let's see. I just have I a biofuel. Have... Yes, the purple biofuel is from MFR. So you need a bioreactor, and the way it works is it's extremely, like, massively more efficient if you dump a bunch of different plant materials in there instead of like a whole bunch of one. So like if you put a ton of saplings in, it produces a little bit, but if you put a ton of like four different kinds of saplings and different seeds and up to nine different items, it's like massively more efficient. Very nice. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna do that. All right, so that's that. I believe what I wanna do is just to kickstart this thing, which really isn't gonna be too necessary. Where's our flux capacitor? Never mind. I don't know. So I'm going to have to induction smelter. All right, so I'm almost there, guys. I just need to get this and this. And then we should be cool. There we go, charging that thing up. So then the last thing I want to do is set this guy I can't remember how to make a fermented spider eye. Oh. It's like sugar. And a mushroom. Let's 
Look at that. I knew something. That's vanilla based. Our hey, we're getting redstone in our magma crucible. Her AE system just totally rebooted. It does that every time you add or remove something to it. Alright, so let's see what kind of power output we're going to get from eight of these things with liquid redstone going into them. Here goes nothing. Alright guys, I'll be back in a minute. I have to wait for this thing to... Wow, okay, that's not going to be much. I need to probably make a better one of these. Oh, wow. Nice and compact, right? And, wow, that's going to make a lot of power. That's the plan. 320 RF per tick each. How many you got in there? Eight in total. Okay, so that's enough for one precharger. Uh, maybe, yeah. I apparently a am very wasteful with Tesseracts, because I'm making more. You are very wasteful with Tesseracts, I can say that for a fact. Hey, you're not hey, Sass, you're not right. Sir Direwolf. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Alright, so that should feel faster. Now we're producing liquefied redstone. I think I'm actually going to disable these for a minute to make sure that we get a bunch of it, because I want to kind of kick it all on at once and see how fast this redstone energy cell fills up. And if I need a few more of these, so be it. Does the bioreactor take energy? Uh, no. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, it's really easy. Um, but the key is to have lots of different types of materials. So that we're going to want to expand our farms first. We'll probably well, we want to have like... We got seeds, we have all kinds of different saplings. Leaves don't count. Saplings do, but we want to have, like, a lot of that kind of sapling. Okay. That's so, that's in fact, amaranth wood is one of the woods we need for the hoarding quest. So if you want, and I know we have a lot of amaranth saplings, if you want to make that one of the things um, to do, then cool. Because amaranth planks is needed for the, for the, the, the purple madness quest. You know, I found myself yeah. helping you. Uh, yeah, I'm got the milk farmer going for you didn't i oh which was like the only thing you completed like i did six quests and you did one and it's the one i helped you with. you put up you? a rancher i set up everything else uh-huh sure that's my for you sassy wolf. Sassy wolf. yeah well i mean if you want to start up that hey uh you know thing one bob all I right even so this thing should be producing about. power now and these guys are all running i hope almost yeah now we're cooking look at this everything's cruising yeah, we're producing a lot of power over here, buddy. The only downside to this thing is that there's no way to disable these generators. So, that kind of stinks. There's no off switch for the generators. Not because I didn't build a design that facilitates it, but that it just can't be done. Like, no redstone signal. Unless there's some other way, I have to ask Tema. But as far as I could tell, I tried like a bunch of... I even tried pumping the redstone out of the redstone generators, and you can't. So I can't think of any way to, to, to save redstone when we don't need the power. But maybe if we only use this power line specifically for what we want to use it for, which is the, the thingy, then that might be a good plan. In fact, I don't think that we're able to... Yeah, we're not actually even using this. I need to upgrade this to an Enderium cell. Hold on. Everybody hold your horses. I'm holding. Where's that Enderium cell thingy? Because we're actually, it can only accept 2,000 RF per tick, and those eight generators are producing more than that at the moment. Is that cool or what? Sounds cool. Yeah. Um, but this one here can output 
10,000 once we upgrade it. So what I'm going to do is be able to charge two pre-chargers with it. So I think I'm going to have actually two lasers and two pre-chargers going because there's actually, I have a bit of a plan for that. Um, so while I'm here, maybe I'll get one more laser drill and one more pre-charger ready to go. I would totally be now, lazy and just teach, teaching the AE system how to make all these planters and harvesters. Nice. I'm learning from you. That's good, isn't it? All right, now we're input output 10,000, and we are cruising on power boost. All right, that thing's dropping, so that's a good sign. So these guys are all producing a crazy amount of power. So actually, eight of these is pretty darn close to good. So let's see, 320 times eight. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, guys, so give me a few minutes here. I think I'm going to need a pair of Tesseracts because we need to get up to Y-level 128, right, Bahamar? Uh, I thought it was 192. Um, no, according to the quest book, 128. Dun-dun-dun-dun, checking. Uh, yeah, it says Y-level 128 plus in the quest book. I'm going to turn um, the on Jen for right now. Okay, I think while I'm at it, actually, I'm going to make a focus. So I checked online, and the two foci that we want here, these different focus, do you know what the laser foci do for the laser no, drill? I no, I don't, actually. Enlighten me. Enlighten me. Uh, so the laser drill basically hits bedrock or void and then produces a random ore, any kind of ore. But if you put a focus in, it like increases the chance of a certain kind of ore. Um, for example, if we make an orange focus, which doesn't look too hard to make, just need some orange dye. Um, okay, ceramic dye, which is clay plus orange. Um, long story short, it increases the chance of that stuff, so... Hmm. I thought that was going to work. Orange will give us Ardite ore, which is one of the ones that I want. You might want sulfur ore, too. Yeah. Well, just because we use a lot of sulfur. We do. Uh, sulfur is yellow. I think the problem there is, though, that that's not going to work. All right, let's see. These are actually a pain to craft. I've never really crafted these before. I mean, they're not that bad, but... They're no happy dance? No, nah, just a several steps. And then the other one I want is a blue, which gives you cobalt. It also gives you a chance for sapphire, lapis, and apatite. Uh, the orange, by the way, also gives you extra copper. But I'm mostly after Ardite and Cobalt, so... Do we still have the Precision Sledgehammer? Uh, do we have the Precision Sledgehammer? There should be one around here somewhere, yes. Alright, now how was it this guy showed you the effective? Oh, I see it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, as soon as you hold it in your hand, you'll see it. All right, so I've got the foci. Do you have any Tesseracts laying around? Should be some being crafted right now. Oh, cool. So I guess we don't have to take a break. I can just go straight into doing that. What are you working on, by the way? Farms. Cool. Um, I might go put this up by the top of the mob farm. What do you think about that? Oh, wow, that radius is huge. That's not like a cool plan. Is that going to be tall enough? Did I make yeah. it that high? Did I make it that high? I think so. I'm going to call this frequency 4, by the way. You know what? Let's see. Mob farm. This guy is sending and receiving items and energy. 
I assume this guy should only be receiving items, right? So yeah, maybe if I did... You know what? No. I'm just going to leave this as was, and I'm going to go with its own... its own frequency. So this guy's filling up quite quickly. I'm just going to put this over here. That's right. I missed my hammer. Yeah. That's what I get for dying. So I'm going to set this guy to... receive items... send energy. We've got energy output on the right there, and then I'll just need to, what I'll wind up doing is get an interface over here. So once that interface is in place, it should work smoothly. In fact, I'll put it there now just to be safe. I'm gonna go see if uh, that obsidian's melted and I can make my hammer again. Cool. And then if I need to expand this out, it's not too bad, actually. I'm, I might actually almost be at the point where it's pretty much where I need it to be. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So, and maybe I'll put a lever or something up here to turn it on and off. Well, that's pouring. Let me come down and see what you're up to. Okay. Okay, so I see your system set up here. Can you bring me some item ducks to the top of the mob spawner, by the way? Sure. Sure. I forgot them. Can you make them see-through item ducks? Use hardened glass? Anything else? Mm, I think that's it for now. If you want, you can bring up some of those cobblestone wall thingies. We might... Oh, they probably all died with me. I'll have to make you some more. I think we have enough cobblestone. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Giving my... A little bit of a scare. Oh, you know what? Bring up the builder's wand, too. And like a stack or two of cobble. Uh, it looks like the builder's wand went with me too. Oh my goodness, Pahamar. What I get for laughing at you dying. Yeah, I, I don't think we were recording when it happened, guys, but Pahamar fell into the void. And he took with him my. Uh, pickaxe of the core. Which was my reward, by the way. And I'm like, I'm going to put this in the chest for safekeeping. And he's like, I'm going to take it out of the chest and jump in the void. That, that's exactly how it went. Those were the words that you spoke. Just saying. So let's see. We need this here. Yeah, I need more cobblestone, buddy. I'm coming. Okay, cool. One stack of cobble. Wall. Two stacks of see through item ducks. Nice. Thank you. And something else for you in a sec. One, four, seven, seven. What now? There you go. Come on over here. What you got? Oh boy, I'm not going in there. You have fun with that. What? It's dark and glass. I, 
I made you some elevators to quickly get up and down. Right. Direwolf's not a very trusting wolf. Nope, not a fire, Mar. Alright, so these holes are where the laser drill is going to go. And then we need the laser drill pre-chargers, which I'm thinking for now Whoa. I'm just going to put Whoa. like... What's up? You have giant, you have beams, giant of light. beams of light. Do I? Yeah. Take the elevators and come down. Uh, one sec, I'm just setting it all up. Cool. Uh, those beams of light will hurt, by the way. Well, it helps that they're completely over the void. Yeah. They're like upside down beacons. Oh, it's so nice to see you actually build some infrastructure. What I set that thing to for, I think? I don't think I named it. But I did now. Receive. Receive energy, send items. Dope. And, oh, you can put multiple laser foci in here. That I was not aware of. So I'm gonna. I don't know if it matters if you put like six blues in there, but that's really all I want. So I'm just gonna do it, and we'll see if it works. So that'll go in like that. Changes. This should be all I need to do, and we do that. And then these guys get power. They're pretty much working at full speed right now. That's not bad, actually. And I assume this guy needs to be like this, but I'm really not sure, because item ducks and MFR are always kind of a mystery to me. They're actually moving pretty quick, though. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm going to dedicate these redstone things to the laser drills. Okay, so standing in these beams will hurt. Hey, I think we got some stuff. Sweet. Uh, yes. Like, a lot. Don't stand in those beams. Oh yeah, you can totally see the beams down. Just from right up here. Oh, I know something I should make that you haven't seen yet. I don't even think you know it's installed. What's that? Well, if I tell you, it won't be as exciting. Cool. Uh, I think we've got lasers, dude. I'm going to make more foci. Uh, how about YouTube? We'll be back. Sounds good. Mr. Direwolf. I think it's yes, time to Mr. wrap Bob up. Mark. It is time to wrap up. Uh, real quick, by the way, I installed some more blue and orange lasers focuses in here. So hopefully that'll significantly... Hey, where'd you go? Hey, what'd you do? Teleport up here? Oh, maybe. So... Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, these things are, by the way, like full of blue and orange foci now, which I believe will help with us in getting some Ardite and Cobalt and such. And I might add one or two more of these redstone generator things just to see how well it goes because uh, right now we have a little bit of energy loss on this thing. I would like to keep it full speed if I could. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just move this whole contraption over right one and add four more heated redstones. I'll do some math and see what, what how many I need exactly to get the 10,000 RF I need. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Like a plan. And, and I'm working right. on expanding out the farm a lot more, so we'll see more of that next episode. So. Yep, I feel like we had a really long episode today, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we got a lot done. I think that laser thing is going to help us out quite a bit. And uh, yeah, next up, I think, Palomar, I think it would be a good idea, like you said, get some biofuel going. It's very, very useful for power gen, and you also need it for your hoarding quest. 
Sounds like a plan. All right, man. Take it easy. Take it easy, guys.